everyone welcome to my fourth notebook review video i am very excited to share with you my thoughts about the tiki nara bullet journal by notebook therapy that i purchased not long ago this notebook has been on my stationary wish list though with that said you will still expect an honest opinion and a transparent pen and paint test results Let's start the review by unboxing. The notebook comes in this elegant white box with rose gold foil embossing of moon and stars that represents tiki in Japanese which means moon together with the brand on the bottom and on both sides of the box. Inside there is a business card and the notebook is nicely wrapped in a thin paper. Here's a quick overview of the notebook. This edition comes in three sizes, original, A5, and B5. I got the A5 size that is sold for $28.98 US dollars. It has 176 unnumbered pages with 160 GSM paper, 5mm dot grid, handcrafted velvet cover, two bookmark ribbons, an elastic closure, and a back pocket. Unlike the notebooks I've reviewed previously, this notebook doesn't come in a sleeve but it still has a luxurious look and feel because of the soft, rich brown, velvety cover and the gorgeous fawn design is embossed in rose gold foil. On the spine, there are doodles of autumn leaves and the brand on the back in rose gold as well. The design is said to be inspired by a trip to Nara Park in Japan where beautiful deer were relaxing under autumn leaves. And this is exactly why I chose this design because it gives me cozy autumn vibes. Flipping through the notebook, the first page is dedicated to write down your name. The next pages are straightforward. There are no index pages, which I personally don't use anyway. There are two ribbon bookmarks in rose gold that is found somewhere in the middle of the notebook. On the very last page, there is a quote that says, will stroll through Nara, beneath the autumn leaves, and alongside doubled fawns. Finally is an elastic band and a back pocket. Oh wait, there's more. It comes with this adorable paper clip that matches the whole design. Let's look into the most important feature of the notebook, which is the paper. It feels smooth and the color is bright white. Comparing it to a standard printer paper, it leans to the purple tone while the printer paper leans to the daylight tone. The dots are light gray with 5mm distance. There are 38 spaces down and 26 spaces across. The binding has a 180 degree lay flat design, which is a great plus. Now it's time to put this notebook to a test. Two tests, actually. One will be a pen test and a paint test afterwards. You can find all the supplies I'll be using on this review on the video description. I'm starting with the pen test using my fountain pen. I don't normally use fountain pens on my bullet journal. It's just for testing to show how it would perform for those of you who love using fountain pens. 
here I see a slight feathering on the paper but as I have said before it may also depend on the type of ink you use whether it's wet or dry next I have the Unipin fine liner in 0.01 nib and my go-to fine liner the Sakura Pigno Micron in 0.03 nib I also have the Pilot GTEC C4 to test. Next up are my brush pens. Here's a Tombo Fudenosuke Hard Dip Brush Pen, which is my favorite at the moment in this category. Then my coloring brush pens, a Tombo ABD Dual Dip Brush Pen, and as you know me, I always do a three-layer test on all of my reviews. That also includes my Sakura Koi Coloring Brush Pen, Crayola Super Tips, and Stabilo Swinkle Highlighter. I'm also testing my gel pens, such as my white Sakura Jelly Roll, which I usually use for covering up mistakes. We'll see if it matches the paper, and since it's a gel pen, you can notice that it has a little bit of a shiny finish with reflection of light. But in person, the color blends very well with the paper. Then I have my metallic gel pens, the Dong A, my metal gold, and the Simi Art gold gel pen. Next are paint pens, the Archer and Olive, Acrylograph, and Uniposca paint marker. Lastly, and the not so recommended pens to use are alcohol based. I have the Touch 10 sketch marker and the Sharpie permanent marker. On to our paint test, I am testing out four different paints. This test is very helpful, especially if you're aiming to try out different art mediums on your bullet journal, such as paints and how the paper would handle these. First is a solid watercolor test that begins with a minimal use of water and is very pigmented, then a gradient. Here, you would need to work a little faster because the paint dries up quickly. Lastly is with the use of more water. Second is gouache, starting with a paint directly from the tube, a gradient as well on the middle, and then with a significant amount of water. Third on this test is acrylic that come in tubes. I'm doing the same methods and I noticed that acrylic is easier to blend on this one. Finally for this test is my gold watercolor in minimal, medium, and greater amount of water. And with that, it's the moment of truth. Let's see if there are ghosting or bleeding on the other side of the pages. For the pen test, the alcohol-based markers are the only ones that bled, which is expected, but to my surprise, the Sharpie bled just a little. There were no ghosting for the rest of the pens I used. As for the paint test, there were no bleeding or ghosting. There were only buckling on the areas where I used a lot of water. All in all, I think this notebook is really an amazing option because for a first impression, it met my preferences for the most part. My favorites about this notebook are, I think all of it. I never thought I would love every part of a journal. The design is simple but elegant and cute at the same time. The packaging is well designed and eco-friendly too. I could see myself repurposing it to store my stickers or washi tapes. The paper is smooth and high quality, it performed very well on tests, and there are three sizes and more designs to choose from. I am very impressed. This notebook is not the cheapest, but Notebook Therapy offers free track shipping worldwide. It took 9 days to arrive at our doorstep, and if you are in the US, it may take up to 21 days.
With all these said, I have yet to see if the embossing on the cover will last and won't wear off after a long time and I can expect the velvety fabric cover to catch dirt if I forget to clean my desk before using but it's pretty much not of a big deal. Other than that, I cannot think of anything else I dislike about it. For some of you who like numbered or indexed pages, those may be an issue for you, but if not, I would absolutely recommend this notebook. I would love to give you a discount code which we don't have at the moment, but should you decide to get yours, you can definitely use codes you may find from other amazing artists so you can save some and support them at the same time. I'm so happy to finally color in this notebook on my stationary wish list. If you've seen that video where I made a spread for it, let me know if this notebook is also on your wish list or if you already have it. I would love to know your experiences on the comments section. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope this answered all your questions about Notebook Therapy's bullet journal, especially the Nara edition. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more notebook reviews and bullet journaling videos, and I'll see you next time.